Editing Jace here. I just wanted to firstly address that the quality of these videos will not quite be up to the standard in which you're probably used to. The reason behind this is that I just want to quickly pump out these videos to maintain my YouTube presence while I'm doing this course. And when I get a bit of time, the quality will go back to what you all know and like. So just bear with me for this time. Hi everybody and welcome to episode one of my OSCP journey. Now, I'll start off by just saying this course was very different than what I expected. Having friends and colleagues do this course before, I thought it would be very much structured as here's a list of machines, uh, go, go have fun with them, um, and some sort of uh, web portal to manage them and all this kind of stuff, similar to what I experienced with eLearn Security. Uh, however, I found out it's nothing like that. They give you no information on the machines whatsoever. It's just, here's a bunch of machines, uh, here's some IP addresses and just go do it. There's absolutely no information they give you about the machines other than just their IP address. Um, now, my approach with this course was to do the uh, lab report to get those extra five points. That way it just alleviates a little bit of pressure in the exam. So my strategy would be buffer overflow worth 25 points, then a 20 point, another 20 point, and the lab report should give me the 70 points required. That being said, also going to go for, for the 10 pointer just to try and secure 80 points and maybe even the other 25 pointer, who knows. But the least amount of pressure for the exam is what I'm going for and that's why I'm doing the lab report. So on the top topic of the lab report, I've been finding this really easy to go through having done my pen test professional course before. Uh, it's The exercises are very tedious, very boring and very time consuming and I really really just want to get into the actual um, labs with the machines. Um, more on that in the next video. And overall, I just guess I'm a little bit disappointed with the delivery of the course. Um, I tend to think the way eLearn Security delivered their course is much better, much more professional. I find just giving you one giant 850 page PDF is just nothing short but lazy. Um, the least they could do is separate this into individual topics. It's very annoying when you accidentally click a link and you go off to some other website and then you hit back and try got to try and find the page you were on. I guess I could just use a different PDF uh, viewer instead of Chrome, but anyway. I'll also mention that I'm doing about 40 hours of study per week on this. So four hours on weekdays and eight hours on weekends. Uh, and that can be tailored up or down depending on my needs. Uh, the most I think I would be able to put in with my current commitments is about 50 hours per week. Um, but that's really, uh, that's really pushing it. And because I've, I got the three month pass, I don't think I should be that short on time. Hopefully I should have enough to do most of the machines and the lab report. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Stay tuned for next week for a new update and I'll catch you in the next one.